it's been a long week, it's been a long month, but at the same time I have no idea where July went. I mean, I do know where it went. It went to summer school. I handed it over when I signed the forms. I am running on empty. I've never done summer classes before, but I have found out that I need my three months of summer vacation. The two weeks that I'm gonna get in about a month here, it's, it's not gonna be enough. <laughs> I digress. It's best and worst of beauty time, you guys. I don't know, I've kind of got a semi-theme song kind of written for it, and let me, let me test it out for you. I'm not completely sold on it, but you guys, you tell me. Here we go. <laughs> it's the best and worst of beauty. Some stuff was crap, and some stuff you need. The part that I don't like about it, where I say you need it, because I don't want to spread consumerism like that. And I also don't like saying that some stuff was crap because, hey, maybe it's gonna work for other people. But at the same time, some stuff is crap. And I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but, you know, the words work and they rhyme-ish and I just, I don't know. If any of you are better lyric writers than I am, <laughs> please let me know if there's a better way to do that. Or if you just don't like the tune of it. Or hey, if you just think I don't even need a theme song for this, I just kind of want one because I think it's fun. Anyways, I need to stop blathering here. Like I said, I gotta go to work. I gotta turn in that essay. Oh my god, I need, I've got a lot of stuff I need to do. So, let's just dive right in. July of 2014. I'm pretty sure that's what year and everything it is. Let's do it! Best and worst of beauty time. Woohoo! Alright, the first thing that I'm going to be sharing with you all is something that I'm very sad about because I had tried multiple sample packets of this stuff before and I remember really liking it. Well, I don't know if times have changed or just my skin has changed, I don't know, but unfortunately this product makes me break out. And it is this Biore Free Your Pores Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. I think I was just under that whole like veil of influence from when I had used a bunch of sample packets. Packets. I even think it might be in one of my first empties videos that I mentioned them and that I really liked them and blah 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 and so I was like oh you know this product isn't what's making me break out right now it's X Y and Z even though X Y and Z like weren't even really a thing it was just really a in the first place but basically in this past month if you've seen my face look kind of worse for wear um, it's because I was using this and thinking that this was not causing me to break out well like a day or two after after I stopped using this, my skin cleared up. I mean, you can tell, like, my skin is just looking so much better, and it's because I stopped using this. I don't know if it's because it's a salicylic acid based product and I do know that my skin does react better to benzoyl peroxide in terms of acne clearing. I don't know if it is the heavy fragrance that's in here. It smells really good. Like, trust me, this is a really nice smelling product, but unfortunately I don't think that that helps my skin. I think my skin might be sensitive to fragrance like that. It also feels really good. It's definitely cooling and it foams really well, so it just, you feel really squeaky clean after you use this, but unfortunately, like I said, it was causing me to break out really badly, and so... I don't know what I'm gonna do with this bottle, if I'm just gonna toss it, or I don't know if someone else in my life wants it. Mom! That's just, that. that's what happened to me, so now you know. <laughs> Second on the bottom of my pyramid, I hate that I'm putting it here because this is a fantastic product, but I'm putting it here because it has long since been discontinued. And by long since, I mean it has been years since this product has been available. Well, I was cleaning out my makeup stash the other day. By the other day, I don't know, it was like maybe a couple weeks ago. Long story short, when I was in college, undergrad, I didn't have a car with me on campus, and so basically I would have to rely on anyone else, who, like if they were going to Target or if they were going to the grocery store, I had to make it work so that I could go with them, you know what I mean? So basically I would just stock up on everything whenever I could. I would buy doubles of things and backups of things just so that I would never be without certain things like deodorant, toothpaste, blah blah blah. Well, I did the same with makeup, and in undergrad, with makeup, I was the kind of person that I literally wore the same thing every day. Like, I was the girl who just had one little baby makeup bag, and that was it. Well, times have changed. Because of those days, I still had a backup laying around of one of my 
all, I shouldn't even say one of, this is my all time favorite mascara when it comes to bottom lashes. It is this CoverGirl Volume Exact Waterproof Mascara. Why did CoverGirl discontinue this? I don't know. It's stupid. Really, really stupid. I nearly cried when I found this. I was like, oh my love. This is the most fantastic mascara I have ever used on my bottom lashes ever. Ever. It adds like volume and definition to my bottom lashes and it just looks good. Like you just, you can't deny how fantastic that looks. And I have not been able to find any other mascara that's been able to give me these exact same results. This does not smudge, it does not flake, it does not go anywhere. It looks wonderful. I just, oh, I'm so mad that CoverGirl discontinued this. I'm going to say that a million times, but I really am upset. And I've been looking for a replacement for this, but I have yet to find it. Very happy to have this back in my life for however long I'm going to be able to make this last. Love it, unfortunately. Y'all can't have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Basically, from here on out, these are all wonderful products. I really didn't use much bad stuff at all this month. So, just so you know, yes, these things are, you know, on the bottom of the pyramid, but they're wonderful products. This next one here was actually a gift from one of my good friends in the blogging world, Stephanie from Short and Chic. As always, I will put her info down below. You can go check her out. She's got an awesome nail blog. She had sent me a little care package full of nail polish and stuff a long while back. One of the things that she gave me in the package was a lip balm, and it happens to be Lipsol. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lipsol Lip Balm with Pure Swedish Beeswax. This stuff is so nice. I seriously, I really, really am enjoying this chapstick. It's just one of those like lazy day, but I want to keep my lips moisturized, but I don't want it to feel like I have a gallon of things on my lips type of a thing. You know what I mean? It's got a very, very slight peppermint smell to it. I kind of really love that it's like in this oval type applicator. I don't know. It's just kind of fun and different. <laughs> It really makes no difference otherwise. And then also, the part where you push the product up and down, it's a little bee! How freaking cute is that? Yeah, I really have been enjoying this lip balm, and I would highly suggest it to any of you. It's not like the most, you know, knock your socks off, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever type of a thing, but I think for something to just have laying around your house, to throw in your bag, whatever, I think this is fantastic, and I absolutely would and probably will repurchase this in the future. So really, really have been enjoying this. So thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Last thing here on the bottom of the pyramid, this is also a thing that you probably can't get your hands on anymore unless you're willing to spend an extortionate amount on eBay for it. It was a limited edition product and yeah, that's life. But I do believe there are dupes out there, so be happy, I guess, kind of. It is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Just Beige. Apparently, Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre is a dupe for this, slash this is a dupe for that, I guess. I don't know. I have never used a MAC paint pot. I've never even really seen one in real life. I just, whenever I go to a MAC counter, I only look at the lipsticks. So I, but basically it's just this really nice kind of a Naples yellow, soft Naples yellow, pale yellow, canary yellow. How many ways can I describe this color? Basically, it's a pale yellow. Just like with all the Maybelline color tattoos, I have to wear a primer underneath them because they do crease on my eyelids. It's that perfect amount of like smooth, but still kind of thick and tacky type of a thing. So when you put it on and then you pat your eyeshadows and stuff on top of it, you really feel like it's just <laughs> stuck to your eyelids and it's just, it's not gonna go anywhere, you know what I mean? This color just really instantly just pops your eyes and just makes you look so much more awake. Like, I promise, I look really awake on camera right now, at least I think so, if I do say so myself. Trust me, I'm not. I'm real tired. <laughs> I'm considering getting a coffee on my way to work, and I do not drink coffee anymore because it does crazy things to my intestines and my body and whatnot, and um, I know that's not gonna be fun later if you catch my drift. Toilet time! Anyways, I just, I've really been loving this. This has done me a lot of favors and I sure do appreciate it. 
All right, we are moving on up on the pyramid, and this is a product that I did a first impression video on. Do you want to guess? Go ahead. What do you think? Were you right? <laughs> it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. Yes, manga. This is not the Miss Manga Mascara. It's the Miss Manga Mascara. Now, since I've done that video, you know, I've been able to get more than just first impression feelings on the product. And do I think this is the best mascara ever? No. But I really do like it, and I like it enough where I'm very intrigued to buy the waterproof formula now that they came out with that. It's got that triangly applicator, and then it does the bendy thingy, mabobby, whatever. I personally don't know that the Bendy wand really does anything in terms of helping you with mascara application. I feel like it basically just is hard to get used to and then doesn't really help anything. It doesn't not help anything, but you know what I mean. I've got it on my top lashes today. I think it's really good at lengthening and giving volume. It can look a little clumpy if you're not careful, but if you've ever read manga, or I'm sure even if you just type into Google manga eyes or something, you'll see that the look in manga is to have very kind of clumped and thick looking lashes. And also, I don't know if the waterproof got any better with this, but I have found it's not an everyday type of an occurrence but every now and then this mascara does flake and it ends up going right into my eyeball and it is so painful and it always seems to happen when I'm like you know at the cash register you know scanning the clothes and whatnot and all of a sudden it'll go in my eye and I have to like pretend like nothing's wrong okay ma'am it's gonna be 2349 how would you like to pay today <laughs> not cute at all so that is definitely a thing like I said it doesn't happen all the time but it does happen those are my feelings on that mascara i do really like it and i think it's definitely worth a shot <laughs> Next up here on the pyramid is a product that is just tried and true for me. I have had this exact same tube of this product for gosh probably three years now, four years, I don't know, but it is still going strong and I don't see it running out anytime soon and it is my Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream and it's waterproof. I have the old form of the bottle in that the only name for this one was five. Now they have like a word and then a number for their names. I believe this one is Vanilla 5 now. I just absolutely love this stuff. Like said, my skin has been breaking out so badly this last month because of that Biore cleanser and I needed something heavy duty to cover up my pimples and this was it. I think it just does a fantastic job blending seamlessly into your skin, covering up really stubborn redness and all that good stuff. By good stuff, I obviously mean bad stuff. When I'm in really bad skin moments, this is what I turn to. This is what I love. It stays absolutely all day. It is not going anywhere. I highly recommend this to anyone who has really dark spots, you know, really red areas, whatever. This is going to do the trick. And like I said, it will last you for years unless you're putting it on like foundation, which I don't recommend. <laughs> Next up on the pyramid here is something that I was going to include in my pyramid last month and then I just didn't have room for it and I was just kind of like, uh, whatever. I have been wearing this for the past two months, like, non-stop, seriously, since I bought it. This is what has been on my face. And that is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Adored. I got this on sale on Sephora's website. I think I got it for either, like, $14 or $15 or something. Basically, it was basically... Basically, it was basically half off. You know, I can't turn that down. I absolutely adore Tarte's Amazonian Clay blushes. They are so pigmented. I mean, seriously, try and tell me that looks like I've been using that for two months straight. You can't. You can't. It looks like I have hardly touched this. And that's because you literally just need two taps in your brush for each cheek. You're done. Done. Don't do more than that. You will look like a clown. 
unless that's what you're going for. I think cool pinks like this really look good on my skin and everything. I don't know, I just think it looks really natural and really pretty. And also this has quite a lot of glitter in it. It's such like a fine glitter that you really can't see it from like far away. It just makes you look really luminous. And then if someone is looking up close and they do kind of catch a little twinkle there, it's just like a fairy twinkle. And so they're like, ooh, pretty. Not like, ooh, that girl is wearing glitter. Fantastic. It's the daytime. What are you doing? Also, I did do a blog post on that blush, so if you want some more in-depth photos, words, whatever, I always link these things down below, so please do check there if you are curious. Second to the top tier of the pyramid, what could it be? I'm gonna tell you. This has been my go-to summer perfume, because seriously, anytime I spritz on anything else, I'm like, why did I do that? I could have been wearing my Stella. This is just the Stella by Stella McCartney <laughs> uh, perfume. I got this years and years ago. Was this my very first perfume that I ever bought? If anything, it was one of the, and it comes out in the limited edition cases and whatever, and this was the one that I bought. I think it's really pretty. Honestly, I wasn't too jazzed about this perfume when I first bought it, but I bought it because everyone else told me it smelled nice. It is a very heavily rose-scented perfume, and I personally, eh, like, I'm okay with roses. The smell is nice, but, like, it's not my favorite. I'm definitely much more of a lily girl. During the summer months, this just smells smells so nice on me. During the winter, uh-uh, it takes on a really kind of like metallic tinge and it's just mm. But during the summer, it radiates this warm, pure rose scent that's just so feminine and so pretty. This is just a pretty perfume, if you know what I mean. There's really not a lot of depth. It's pretty much one note, like said, just roses, but it does smell really nice. I really love this perfume. It's been doing me real good this summer, and it's been keeping me smelling fresh, even though I have been super sweaty because it has been super hot. All right, you guys, second to the top spot on the pyramid. Ba -da -ba. Take a guess. It's something I've worn in pretty much every single video slash every single day since I bought, not since I bought it, but lately. I Stop it, Cassie. Stop saying you're not making sense. It is my MAC lipstick in Sea Sheer. Sea Sheer is the summer version of Plumful. That was the simultaneous sound of your mind blowing and your wallet crying. I don't know why I waited so long to get Sea Sheer in my life. I knew I wanted it and I just, I didn't ever get it for myself and stupid because I have not been able to take this off. I mean, obviously I've been able to take it off my lips. I don't wear lipstick to bed at night and I have worn a few other different lipstick colors, but for the most part, Sea Sheer has been my go-to basically this summer. It's perfect! Like, look at it! It's just so pretty! It's not quite pink, but it's not quite orange, and I don't want to call it a coral, because I think that color is so overused in the beauty world in terms of describing pink, orange type colors. I really love this lipstick. It's very typical to your normal MAC luster finishes in that it lasts on me a good four hours. It keeps my lips hydrated and it just feels good and light and creamy and just wonderful. And look at it! Sea Sheer is a beautiful thing. I've really been loving it, and I think it would look so pretty on so many different people. Alright you guys, top of the pyramid. Not very exciting because I've talked about these things too much. Too much. But when you own products and you know products that have kept your skin so clear and you've had acne since, I don't know, you started wearing a bra, which, I don't know, was probably when you were really young. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I've had acne for a very long time, and the fact that I have found something that actually keeps my skin consistently and continuously very clear, not perfectly clear, because I don't think that's ever going to happen, but I mean, I think I look quite decent. You know, I'm used to having like 20 pimples on my face at the same time, so the fact that I have like three right now 
this is fantastic. I basically hate myself whenever I stop using these things. And they are my clean and clear face washes. I use the Continuous Control Acne Cleanser with 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication at night, and I use the Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser with 5% benzoyl peroxide acne medication in the morning. These products, you guys, just in tandem, they do such wonderful things for my skin. They keep oil at bay, they keep my skin feeling so nice and clean, like really these are a joy to use. I like using an exfoliator in the morning to get all the dry dead skin off my face and then I just like using this one with my Olay Pro X at night because it just works well and it feels nice and both of these smell really good to me they don't smell like acne medication to me which is wonderful they just have a very clean like fresh bar of soap type of a smell and i love them i will probably use them forever because nothing makes my skin look as good as it does than those products. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I've been talking for hours. I'm gonna go, I have to go to work here, but I hope that was an enjoyable pyramid for you all. Happy end of July, we're almost into August. Ah! So we should basically be calling it August, cause that's how I feel right now. Yeah, basically, I just, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're having a wonderful summer. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!